Oh, hey, it's Emily, and I'm here today with my March TBR, as well as a description of how some things might be changing on my channel coming up. But I will start with my reading plans for March and start with what I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I'm not too far into this, so I will be continuing this into March. And this is uh, January's Fairy Loot book. And this one is a, it's set in modern day, uh, involves Greek mythology. So the Greek gods are real in this present day New York City. And there is an event that happens every seven years that involves battles and hunt being hunted or hunting and involves, you know, various Greek gods, you know, hunting or being hunted in this event that lasts seven days and happens every seven years. Anyway, you know, I'm going to continue this one into March. I also, I haven't mentioned this one, certainly not recently. I listened to a book with my family and the first one we read was New York 2140. We've been reading A Promised Land by Barack Obama. We are about 500 or so pages into this. So I'm not sure if we'll actually finish it this month. We've been listening very slowly but steadily. I'm not sure if we'll finish it this month, but I just wanted to give a quick update after the one or two random references I've had to this on my channel over recent months. But we're about 500 pages in, so we'll be continuing that in March as a family. And, you know, maybe we'll finish it this month, maybe next month. Who knows? I also have The Water Knife out uh, on, from my library. I'm actually reading it on my Kindle, but I have it checked out from my library and then reading it via my Kindle. And this is climate fiction that follows uh, essentially a future U.S., a very drought-ridden U.S. where water is very, very scarce. And uh, I think the story is mostly focused in the western part of the country and follows several different characters. A journalist, a person who, a lawyer, uh, I think, who works for someone who wants to help control water resources for the residential or buildings that she runs. I don't know if they're residential buildings or commercial buildings or something, but and maybe she's in real estate or something. Uh, but the lawyer that we're following works for this woman and is trying to ensure that she can have more access to water than maybe she should, <laughs> given the scarcity and given that everyone needs water. And uh, you follow another perspective as well, an immigrant to the area, and it follows kind of literally a, a battle for water and different competing forces as people are trying to get water. There's a death and that kind of ties, I, I'm assuming ties some of these perspectives together. Anyway, I've just started it relatively recently, so I will be continuing that in March as well. And the one thing that I did not get to that I mentioned in February is Merchants of Doubt by Naomi Oreskes and Eric M. Conway. So I haven't I didn't pick this up at all in February. I have read ha about half of it before uh, during grad school and I've been wanting to finish this. And this is essentially just a nonfiction about a you know, groups of people who literally their entire focus is casting doubt on science, whether it's the science of climate change, the science of the connection between smoking and cancer, etc. Very interesting. Um, so I, I do <laughs> hope to finish that and finally get all the way through that in March. So those are the things that at least immediately are on my radar, currently reading or very top of my TBR. There's also um, one final climate fiction book that I had, know I have on my shelf that I want to get to soon is Blackfish City. And I, I'm not blanking on the author's name, but Blackfish City is another one that I want to read coming up. And I think this is more in the sci-fi vein of climate fiction and I think follows a futuristic, is it a futuristic floating city or something? I'm not entirely sure, but it's a piece of climate fiction that is sci-fi oriented, I believe. So I know those are top of my priority for March. And beyond that, I'm not really sure. It's not that I don't have things to read. I obviously have a million things to read, either continuing with stuff I know I have on my shelf or, uh, you know, that I, I hopefully can try to find. I 
gone through most of what I can at least easily access, but you know, there's still more. Uh, but also just a bunch of stuff that I've acquired in the past months on either Kindle or Audible. So that, like, there's definitely a lot of stuff to read. The question is how I want to approach my reading going forward. And one thing I'm considering is instead of doing a monthly, kind of the traditional monthly TBR weekly reading vlog, you know, end of month wrap up, I think I might switch things up a little bit and see if that might kind of, I don't know, just change things up, maybe bring some more people in, who knows. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of been feeling like a change and, you know, just to see what happens. And so what I might do, and if you have any ideas, then of course, would love to hear them. But one thing I'm considering doing is still doing a TBR of sorts, maybe monthly, maybe slightly less frequently than that, depending on, depending. <laughs> but I'm considering doing a TBR to kind of say the things that I know I want to get to coming up, whether it be for book clubs, for example, or there's just something I know, no matter what, I want to get to relatively soon and it's high priority you know, cover those things, but also leave a bit more of it up to chance, because I'm starting to get to a point where, you know, I've kind of gone through a bunch of what I've wanted to get through. I just feel like I can mix things up a bit more and potentially be less structured about it, at least for parts of my readings. What I'm considering doing is in that TBR or in a TBR, saying some things I know I want to get to coming up, but also draw fairy loot tarot cards. So I have some more back at home, but I've collected so many since I've been back that I have, I've done this again, where I put a little sticker. So this one says science fiction. It's not gonna come up very well, but you can kind of sort of tell that that says science fiction. So I put a similar thing on each of these cards, and there are a decent number in here. There are some that are genre, potentially some that include an age range, or you know, short books, or five-star predictions, or 2020 releases, 2021 releases, you know, just putting a bunch of stuff like that, or continue a series, start a series, that kind of thing, just a bunch of different prompts on each of these cards. And for most of them, I think they could make good themed reading vlogs, for example. So I'm considering saying what I want, some things I know I want to get to, but also drawing a few of these in a TBR so that you can kind of get a sense of what reading vlogs will be coming up. And maybe not necessarily deciding at that moment exactly what I want to include in each of those reading vlogs, but just give you a sense of what reading vlogs are coming up. And then, you know, in that reading vlog, pick however many books I want to that fit that theme, film for as long as that reading takes, and then edit the vlog, post it, and that way you kind of get a better sense of what you might actually be seeing in that reading vlog instead of just what I happen to be reading, which if you don't follow my TBRs or you know, know my reading taste and know the things that I have on my shelf and what's coming up, you know, it could be very random and you wouldn't necessarily know what to expect from that, but I feel like you at least get a better sense of what someone might be reading or someone's reading taste based on the kinds of themed reading vlogs they do. And so I think it could be fun to kind of put a little bit of chance in there, draw a few reading vlog prompts, theme some reading vlogs around that, kind of decide what I want to read, how many, kind of craft it, to be what I want it to be, and then just have it take as long as it takes, even if it's longer than a week. Maybe it's two weeks, maybe it's a week and a half, who knows? And that way I'm also finishing books in a reading vlog, if that makes sense. And I can actually give full thoughts on all of the books that I want to talk about in that reading vlog and then just cut it off there. I just feel like it'll flow better maybe, or at least I'm going to try to see if I enjoy that approach. And then instead of doing set monthly wrap-ups, you know, just doing currently, or sorry, recent reads and just stick to a specific number of books that I want to talk to or kind of a small narrow range of books that I want to talk to in a recently read video. And that way I can cover books that I've read for a, a vlog 
or if I've read anything outside of that, then I can just include those in a recently read. And that way, especially if I feel like it might be something that fewer people are interested in hearing, you know, vlog updates about, then maybe I can just include it in that. Anyway, I'm touring with some of that and we'll see how I feel. But this is what's going on for March at the moment and, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh no. But thank you so much for watching this rambly TBR. And if any of that approach sounds interesting, let me know. Uh, subscribe for more bookish content and to kind of see those changes happen if you're excited about those potential changes. And of course, I'll leave my Twitter and Instagram link down below. That's where I like to hang out. I will also leave more resources for how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.